What's going on everybody? Kwaku here. I'm back with another video. Today on this very late night at 10.30 p.m. I have to show you voice access. I finally got it to work and it's an interesting feature, I gotta say. It was recently released um, in a dev channel build, one of the more recent dev channel builds. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. So to get to voice access or to get it enabled, voice access is an accessibility feature Again, that lets you pretty much control or do things on your desktop with just your voice. So to get to it, um, all you have to do if you have Windows 11, which is what it's on, you have to go over here and you can right click your start button. And then you can go to settings. And basically all I'm saying is you gotta open up your settings application and then you go to accessibility right here on the right or the left. And then scroll all the way down so you see speech right there, click it. And then you'll see right there you have voice access. So turn it on, you'll get this bar up here and voice access, when you first open it up, it will show you like a tutorial screen. It'll ask you, do you wanna make sure that this tutorial, this guide, voice access guide um, will not work or won't automatically show up every time you turn it on. I turned that thing off because now I'm getting a little more used to it. So now let's minimize that. Now another cool thing here is you hit this question mark button. And one thing that I have not learned everything about voice access yet because there's too many commands that I would never be able to remember. So this is a little reference guide to see um, what command you want to click on. Um, so there's a whole lot of things here. Um, and then the way you uh, basically activate voice access is you say these four words right up here. Basically, when you say uh, the V access and then you say wake up, when you say that, then it will turn on and it will start letting you do different things. So a few cool things that you can do with it um, is you can open up applications uh, with just your voice and you just say open whatever the application is called and then it'll open up. That includes games. Um, so in this tutorial, or not tutorial, but in this uh, first look hands-on, uh, I'm going to actually test myself to see how well it works and test my computer and test the feature. In having it open up a game, I guess I'll just do Destiny 2 um, it won't look, Destiny 2, I'll tell you right now, will not look good on video because there's something wrong with the settings uh, for all of my Microsoft Store games. But Destiny 2, I'll try to open it up only with my voice. I will not move the mouse around like this. You will know when I move the mouse around like this. Now, there's other one other disclaimer, and that is uh, when you turn this on and you get the user account control pop-up that comes up saying, do you want to enable this or whatever, um, I cannot get it to work with uh, my voice, so I have to use my mouse on that one. But other than that, uh, yeah, it works pretty well even in game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Destiny 2 and then I'm gonna have it open up Destiny 2 with just my voice, not the mouse. And then I am going to get all the way in to either A, the overall map of the game or just click on my character that way um, I have my character logged into the game. So let's try that out. Let's minimize this. So from here on out, this mouse thing does not move like this at all. It's gonna move only with my voice. So let's try it out. Voice access, wake up. Voice access, wake up. Open Destiny 2. Show grid. Click five. Show grid. Six. One. Eight. Click five. Show grid. Eight. One. Click five. Click OK. Click Enter. Show grid. Nine. Five. 
nine, eight, click five. Click here. Click here. Show grid. Nine. Five. Nine. Eight. Click five. Click open director. Show grid. Eight. One. Click five. Show grid. Eight. One. One. Click five. Show grid. Nine. Five. Nine. Eight. Click five. Show grid. Eight. Five. Click two. Show grid. Two. Click two. Show grid. Five. Click five. Show grid. Click six. Show grid. Five, four, six, click five. Show grid four. Five. Show grid. Five. Two. Seven. Click five. Show grid. Click nine. Show grid. Eight. One. Click five. So as you can see right here, uh, I was able to do exactly what I went to say I wanted to do. I was able to open up Destiny 2. I was able to use that grid function, specifically the grid function to uh, select commands and things like that. Um, you can say things like select that and select all like you see in front of you on that screen that shows you everything. Uh, but sometimes for me, it has issues. I don't know if it's whether I have some kind of accent that it can't tell too well, or it's just in so early phases that it's not going to be perfect right away. But overall, that's mainly what I want to show you. I wanted to show you uh, voice access. It's a cool feature. You can open up applications. You can open up, you can tell it to open up any application on your computer and it'll open it up um, with just one phrase. In fact, before I close out, let's do the infamous thing of uh, what Mary Jo Foley uses so much, which is notepad. 
and let's have it open up Notepad. So let's do that real quick. Voice access, wake up. Voice access, wake up. So it looks like what you're witnessing in front of me here is for whatever reason, I um, broke it. And so now I have a lot of unresponsive activity on my computer. So I guess that's a good place to close out the video. It's always sometimes it's good to not make it perfect every time. But in a nutshell, uh, that is voice access. Um, it's not perfect, like I said. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In my case, it worked most of the time and then it froze everything else the rest of the time, as you can tell by this cursor that never changes other than in this area here and I can't click anything, um, but I'll fix that afterwards. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and good.